Hi there. I'm standing here with the collection of saddles and crossflies for the Super 7s. Uh, I'm through with the rough scraping on the crosslides. I'm in the midst of doing that for the saddles. I thought it was timely just for a touch up. Uh, this time around I started with um, uh, with the top and going down from the uh, from the cross slide to the saddle instead of doing the opposite way as I did the last time whereas I started with milling out the pockets here and then mounting it to the bed and then blah blah this time around I started with with the um, uh, grinding of the Top sides uh, on uh, while well, I had the chance, my friend's shop. Some of these came to me later. So, for instance, this one I have scraped. Results are the same, equally good. I did that so that I could have a reference plane. Um, of course, this needs to be tested. Then you need to put it onto the plate and prove it's really blowing up and, uh, and so being a reference plane. But this being done, I have a good start to be able to measure the tops, or sorry, the undersides of the of the cross slides and scrape them flat to the top. So I scrape these now in the same to the same reference plane, and of course, and then run the indicator around the piece like that to prove it's flat to the reference plane and then rough scrape this straight down for the dovetails useful to find the reference plane here here or here first because then you can prove that this is of course um, in alignment or say which side of the dovetail is representative of where you can use pin here to find the, the dovetail there but as this proved to be non not useful for um, for reference this plane here I had to find another way to measure the dovetail so instead of doing that I did that directly I could also have moved the the pin up, use the plane here and move the pin up, and then indicate it on top. This was easier. So I found the dull tail there and I've crossed uh, rough scraped that. So rough scraped all surfaces, finished. I will later then fine scrape it to the saddle. And then I have on both the saddles and the cross slides, I've been roughing out the groove in here so that I have separated the two planes here and I can get deep down when I scrape into the doll tail. The saddles, um, I wanted to be able to use the flats underneath here as references this being of course for the hold down on the rear and this for the apron uh, they are so to speak pristine areas and should be able to be used as references directly but I saw that this or I measured that this was not really um, as good as I wanted all the time and I was milled this down uh, this area in the middle here was uh, had a raised edge which protruded below the surface so I had to use a setup like this to measure I really didn't like that so I milled those off it doesn't matter see, uh, since uh, this is no longer in use before it was used for um, when it was a narrow guide principle 
but since I'm redoing it to the wide guide principle, it doesn't matter anyway. So this surface is no longer in use, hence I mill this down a little bit below the surface of these two. Um, on some, as you see on this one, I scraped it so that the references uh, wasn't too much scraping, but some, so I had a good coverage. On some of the others, I just left as is, which even now not fully covering, they were good enough. And then I tested uh, these planes to this also pristine area, which will also be actually a reference area. And uh, I rough scraped this to the same plane. This was really not anywhere near what I thought it was. But anyway, I like to have that in plane and it's easy just to scrape it down anyhow. All this so that I could use um, the undersides as references and for convenience the top sides here, the, this plane also as reference when I measure here. And just of course run the indicator along and also the same here along this side here and important also in and out like that to find where measured up and of course just a matter of scraping down and um, then the dovetails and then afterwards I will uh, mill out uh, the minimum amount and then put the rule on or wear material in the pockets here drill holes and make oil grooves and then put it onto the to the bed and then align it, file scrape it and also um, probably here or here make the toe in angle that means uh, half a thou or so on this distance um, thicker or it's a thinner on this part so that the, the cross slide will tilt a little bit like that so you can uh, face concave Yep, that's it. So now 